Hey, kid. I was probably wondering that... You are right? Well, to me, you don't look okay in my vision. What's wrong? Is it because that Mio is gone and never gonna come back? Okay, fine. I just... I'll leave you some room to breathe, but look at me. Tell me what is happening. I can tell that things are not going okay for you. But I'm here now, just tell me I'm here to help you. Well, I done my best to help you, so please. Oh? I see. Give me your hands. Just give me your hands. Everything's gonna be okay. Now, I know it's gonna be hard. And I know it's gonna be absolutely. I know it's all the things I have to deal with, but so. Try to keep looking at me, okay? Right in the eyes. We're gonna take some simple responsibilities to comfort. Being blind in this retro world is probably the hardest thing that I can ever overcome. I've been endangered almost all of my life. My little brother always used to have been there. We always used to go through journeys, adventures, killing demons, ghosts, souls. Which I see your soul. And what I see is grey, blue and anger, and pain. <sighs> you talking about my youngest brother? Oh, right. I wouldn't really say the youngest child is my brother. It's just I don't remember a thing. Because I'm not really knowledgeable being blind. It's hard. I'm always lightheaded whenever I sleep. Stand still. Meditate in the rain. Alone, fight, laugh, cry. I'm just always scared of my motivations. My oldest brother, who I've never seen in a while, Tahamaru. He always looked at me straight in the eye thinking that I was the victim. Because I always used to get whatever I wanted from mother. And he just sat there. Concerned. Ever since Mayo died, it felt like half of me was gone. And the fact that she never even had a family. She's always looking after for the kids. Me and Dodoro were the only survivors in that cavern. As that girl was a suspected spy. And I was only alone. With this. God. I can't remember. Because he always used to give me the signals when to strike. I wanted to bring everything back. I was deaf, couldn't speak, blind, still blind. I can't even look back, but I need to move on if I want to talk things out to Tamaru. You're just gonna do that? Leaving me behind? For the things that you've trusted and I did. You think after everything that you've been through. After everything I have done for you. You need to surpass my own witnesses. Think about the time when your parents got murdered. What are you hiding? And why are you incomplete? That you can just get up off your knees and just leave. And right when I'm outside... And all that. That's just low. As if that's not gonna happen. Thinking about trying harder isn't gonna break my heart because I practice love to my brothers. Did you even think about that for a moment? Did you? Stop for even a second of how you even feel or destroyed everything. We're together than we made. Apparently not. You need to stop being so fucking selfish. 
Well, I don't know. You need to start backing up or whatever it is that you've been thrown into your back or pushing yourself, using all your strength and top, like actually consider yourself throwing a tantrum. And I have to fight it every day for you guys. Under normal circumstances, a bastard like me can never even live. I'm a threat to this island. But Diego belongs to me. What in the hell has gotten towards into your head? Like, for real. In what universe is it that even slightly okay to wait until in the mineral of the shift, I didn't even get the chance to think that I was so stupid to fight those demons, to get everything that I wanted back, my eyes. I want to see again. This is the real. <laughs> so, you're finally done with this run outburst. It's very Q and all, but you are not leaving. Not until you explain why you think you can just do all of that at the drop of the hat. And is there a reason? So, come on, what is it? Oh. You've been thinking about a friend that you haven't seen in a very long time, I assume. No. That's... What? Hmm. I mean, can we just stop with all this fiasco already? I want to talk it out. Look, if we were actually going to be enemies in that moment, we wouldn't even be here. We're probably going to need to sit down and have a simple conversation about it. And since I was deaf, I know I was acting a bit childish, but I'm pretending that has never happened, you know? And we need to have mutual reasons of why we have to get everything back that was once mine. Not in any of this spare of the moment crap. You're not allowed... No. No, 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 no. Don't even try to make up some simple excuses. I know that you've been... Gotten a stubborn screeching and all that, but... What you're trying to do has a... Has really hurt me. You know that? Thinking you can just play with my heart like this. Are you trying to see how far I'm willing to bend for you? Plenty of guys wouldn't even have the audacity to put up with this baggage. But I proved that I'm putting up with all sorts of crap for you. <sighs> Remember when you forgot that daily adventure that we used to do? Going on adventures every single day. Me, Dodaro, and you. I get angry at you for forgetting something? Disappointed for that matter, but did I get mad? Of course not! You forgot a lot of stuff, but that's okay. I forgive you for that. Because that's what unstoppable fighters do. They give in and move forward together. Not whatever you're doing right now. So, just stop. Whatever it is they think you're doing, just forget about it. It's not fair in any of us trying to have a conversation with all your emotional like this. You can't take back the words you say when you're angry. So... Let's... You're still going on about this. Didn't you just hear me? You're not leaving. At all. This is so stupid. Why are you doing this? To make me jealous or something? You knock out with all your bags packed in and wait a couple of days to think of proving a point. That's the... <sighs> okay, I get it. You're just gonna be back. You're just gonna come back after realizing how dumb it is walking across the lines, fighting a lot of enemies, monsters, demons, ghosts, souls, 
anything that you even kill, I'm still going to get it back anyway. But it's pointless. All of this childishness and all of the... Anyway, why are you bothering me? Like that. You'll think you're just going to somehow do better without me? Me? For all the foods that we cooked in the campfire and be your own person? You're not even going to last a week. Not even a day. You'll come back crawling after realizing the world is too scary and you're going to... You're going to start crying. Did you even think about that? Huh? You? Need me. To take care of you. To keep you safe from all the monsters. And to Hamaru. Because nobody else is going to. Nobody else. Is going to love or care like how I Hey, you're not, are you? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Just, just stop for a second, look at me. You don't have to do this alone. Trust me, I can forget whatever has happened today and think of something that we're gonna... Okay. Okay, it's just that the food that you want, don't you? Cause it's that delicious and all, tired. Sick of life. That's something that I can relate. To my family. For Mutsu and Yogo. My brother has always been incomplete. Angry. And if that's what you're looking at so far, then that's okay. And there you go. I'm sorry, right? You... Don't even need to keep pushing yourself this far to fight off everything and start backing up and forget about the hands. Give me your forehead. <sighs> Never mind. You feel that, right? The breeze that is falling into your body slowly drifts away all of the sadness Perhaps we should need to focus on our breathing. Simple way as possible. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Breathe in. And breathe out slowly. Excellent. How do you feel? Exhausted? That's something that I would believe in. I seen it at the very start. Revisited. Again. Breathe in. And out again. That's good. My friend, old and new, we stand on the brink of victory. The demons, the ghosts, Endangered civilization, corrupted minds, Mutsu and Yoko, and Tahamaro. All of it will soon be gone. But tonight, tonight, we celebrate. With this power and the meaning to control it, we can go wherever we choose. At last, we can return to our homes. And I can finally get the chance to find my mother, our mother, our old lives, our family. The Empress might succeed as we think carefully about the situation we are in. The one who perpetuates this madness. And one thing remains. He must be. I wish I did not have to ask of this of you, but only you can do it.